give way to traffic on a major road. These white, double broken lines tell motorists to give way to traffic on major roads. Drivers won't always have to stop at this line but must keep an eye out for traffic crossing their path to do so. The common road marking can appear at many roundabouts and junctions with major roads. Stop line at signals or police control. A white line across the road will appear alongside traffic lights or in some cases, in an area of police control. It's important to stop before the line if directed to do so by traffic lights or a member of the police. Stop line for pedestrians crossing. A pedestrian crossing is a place where pedestrians can cross a street and where motorists must stop to let them cross.
a broken white line marks the center of the road. Center lines are white and appear broken in the middle of the road. They separate opposing flows of traffic and can vary in length and gap size between lines depending on speed limit. Never cross a hazard warning line unless you are certain it is safe. These are probably the most common marking you'll encounter when driving. A double solid white lines in the center of the road. This means you must not cross or straddle it unless it is safe and you need to enter adjoining premises or a side road. You may cross the line if necessary, provided the road is clear, to pass a stationary vehicle, or overtake a pedal cycle, horse or road maintenance vehicle, if they are traveling at 10 miles per hour or less. Zigzag line road markings. White zigzags are commonly found either side of pedestrian crossings. They are designed to indicate that parking and overtaking in these zones is strictly prohibited. The same rule applies to yellow zigzag lines, which are found outside of schools, hospitals, police, and fire stations. Their purpose is to provide pedestrians, children, and staff a clear, unobstructed view of the road in front of them. Diagonal hatching. Diagonal hatching, this is used to separate lanes of traffic and to protect vehicles waiting to turn off the road. If the area is bordered by a broken white line you can enter it, but only if it is necessary and safe to do so. If it is bounded by a solid white line then you must not enter it except in an emergency.
A double yellow line. A double yellow line indicates no waiting or parking at any time. Double red lines. Double red lines marked along the left of the inside lane indicate that no stopping, waiting or parking is permitted by any vehicles at any time. Bus lane. You must not drive in a bus lane during its period of operation unless otherwise indicated by a sign. You may enter a bus lane to stop, to load or unload where this is not prohibited. Bus stop. You must not park or stop at a bus stop.
box junction. You must not enter a box junction unless your exit is clear. The exception to this rule is, you can enter a box junction when you want to turn right and your exit road is clear but you are prevented from proceeding by oncoming traffic or right turning vehicles in front of you. A single yellow line. A single yellow indicates no waiting or parking during times shown. The times shown will be on a sign nearby. An edge line. This marks the left hand side of the carriage way. The lines are sometimes ripped to alert drivers they're straying off the road and known as raised profile edge lines. You can expect to find these in areas prone to fog and mist, at sudden changes of road width and on unlit stretches of road. Lane narrows. Lane narrows indicating which lane you need to get into at a roundabout. These are often accompanied by road numbers and place names. Waiting or parking. Waiting or parking is limited to the duration specified during the days and times shown. <laughs> 